um, digital intelligence will probably exceed uh, all human intelligence combined. Yeah. That we'll have AI or AGI that's at a level that it can really do almost any cognitive, I think really not almost. Elon Musk predicts that artificial general intelligence, aka AGI, will be knocking on our door by 2025. This means a world where machines outthink us and solve complex problems faster than we ever could. But what does this mean for humanity? And are we ready to face the consequences of unleashing such unprecedented power? Now, if you're not familiar with the term, think of it as the holy grail of AI development. We're talking about machines that not only mimic human intelligence, but surpass it. Now imagine if that assistant not only understands you like a close friend, but can outsmart you in pretty much anything. Learning new skills, solving complex problems, you name it. That's the dream of AGI. Now, Elon didn't hold back on his predictions. He basically said that by next year, 2025, we might see AGI that's smarter than any single human on the planet. Wrap your head around that for a moment, and it doesn't stop there. He went on to say that by 2029, AGI could surpass the collective brain power of all humanity combined. Now, Musk isn't just pulling these predictions out of thin air. He's looking at the rapid pace of AI development, the breakthroughs we are witnessing almost daily, from chatbots like GPT to more sophisticated systems like Claude 3 and Gemini. The AI game is leveling up quicker than we can keep track. Ray Kurzweil's forecast in the viral clip suggested that AI might hit human-level smarts by 2029. But Elon Musk said he's thinking we could see AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence, taking over the intelligence leaderboard by 2025. That's a solid four years earlier than Ray's estimate. Now, what exactly does this mean for us mortals? Well, imagine if AI could not only match but exceed human intelligence. We are talking about machines that not only understand our quirks and variations, but can outthink us at every turn. But what can an AGI system actually do? Well, first off, it's got to have some serious brain power. We're talking about understanding common sense, logic, cause and effect, you name it. Plus, it should be able to learn new stuff on the fly and even come up with its own inventions. Now, let's clear up a little confusion. Right now, we've got AI systems like GPT-4 and Claude 3 doing their thing. But they're what we call Artificial Narrow Intelligence, or ANI. They're great at specific tasks, but ask them to step outside their comfort zone, and they'll stumble. AGI, on the other hand, aims to be the jack of all trades. It's the AI equivalent of a renaissance human. Versatile, adaptable, and always up for a challenge. As we gear up for the era of artificial general intelligence, there's no denying the excitement. It will be an AI that's not just good at problem solving, but excels at personalization and automation. But with great power comes great responsibility. AGI isn't all sunshine and rainbows. There are some serious risks lurking in the shadows. For starters, there's the whole thing labeled as security and ethics. We're talking about potential breaches, privacy concerns, and ethical dilemmas that could make your head spin. And let's not forget the elephant in the room, massive job displacement. With AI taking over tasks left, right, and center, there's a real threat of widespread unemployment. Now, which current AI systems are giving us a sneak peek into the world of AGI? Well, look no further than OpenAI's latest development, GPT-4.5 Turbo, and the highly anticipated GPT-5. These are the real deal, packing more processing power than a supercomputer on steroids. They're faster, smarter, and more versatile than ever before. Think multilingual support, emotional intelligence, and even creative content generation. But don't just take our word for it. Dive into the latest episode of Lex Friedman's podcast, where OpenAI CEO Sam Altman spills the info on GPT-5 the flaws of its predecessor, and the future of AGI. And if that's not enough to get your neurons firing, check out Cognition Lab's Devon AI, declared the world's first AI software engineer. Devon is making waves in the AI world, and for good reason. It boasts an impressive array of skills that bring it darn close to achieving artificial general intelligence. Just think about it. Devon can dive into unfamiliar technologies, squash bugs like a pro, create end-to-end -end apps, and even fine-tune its own AI models. Oh, and did I mention it can handle real-world tasks with ease? Now that's impressive. And if you're one for numbers, Devon's got those too. It's aced the SWE Bench benchmark, scoring a jaw-dropping 13.86% success rate. Translation? It's pretty darn good at tackling a variety of software engineering tasks. With all these tricks up its sleeve, it's no wonder Devon's being named as a front-runner in the race to AGI. But while Devon's got the goods, it hasn't hit the shelves just yet. So before we start singing its praises from the rooftops, let's remember to take a breather and wait for the big reveal. Now, on to magic.
These people are taking a slightly different approach, calling their creation a co-worker rather than a co-pilot. But don't let the terminology throw you off. Magic's still aiming for the AGI jackpot. In fact, they've teased us with a sneak peek of their latest project, LTM-1 on X. And let me tell you, it's a beast. With a whopping 5 million prompt tokens, this bad boy's got more code under its belt than you can shake a stick at. Magic AI's LTM-1 prototype is turning heads with its neural network architecture, tailored for handling massive context windows. While the company hasn't spilled the beans on when we can expect their first product, one thing's for sure, they're aiming high. Magic isn't just in it for the short haul, they're playing the long game, with their sights set squarely on AGI. And not just any AGI, mind you, but a safer, more responsible version that aims to minimize potential harm down the line. But Magic isn't the only one singing the AGI anthem. Industry heavyweights like Altman have been preaching the gospel of AGI for years. According to Sam, AGI isn't just another gadget, it's a game changer of epic proportions. In fact, he's been shouting it from the rooftops, telling anyone who will listen that AGI could be the most powerful tool in our technological arsenal. In a chat with Time Magazine back in 2023, Sam painted a picture of a brave new world, one where boundaries of intelligence are pushed to their limits. He spoke in poetic terms about how artificial intelligence may transform healthcare and education, creating unprecedented equality. You know, it's the stuff science fiction dreams are made of, and the more time goes by, the less it feels like fiction and more like reality. While Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, is singing the praises of large language models, or LLX, like GPT and Claude, Yann LeCun, the chief AI scientist at Meta, isn't exactly sold on their potential. According to LeCun, LLMs are pretty impressive creatures when you unleash them on a massive scale, but they're kind of like the smart kid who never quite gets the whole picture. Lacoon argues that these models tend to produce outputs that are, well, a bit off the mark. They often spew out information that's not rooted in reality, leading to unreliable results. Another point of criticism is that LLMs use a lot of data. They devour enormous volumes of data as though it were no one's concern, all in the name of achieving what Lacoon considers to be a pretty meager degree of intelligence. They're trapped in an endless cycle of mediocrity because they're unable to think or plan outside of the boundaries of their training data. Lacun believes that while LLMs are useful tools, they're not the secret to AGI. He actually despises the term artificial general intelligence. He thinks that if we imagine that these models hold the secret to achieving human-level intelligence, then we're barking up the wrong tree. While Jan Lacun slams the door shut on the idea of large language models being the golden ticket to achieving human-level intelligence, Google's CEO Sundar Pichai takes a more laid-back approach, shrugging off the hype around AGI. The question of whether or not we have achieved artificial general intelligence is essentially irrelevant, in Pachai's opinion. Why? Because regardless of whether we've hit that elusive milestone, the AI systems of the future are going to be game changers. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.